Hello and welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and today I have the Delight New Moon 2 resin version of this pen. There are three different series of the Delight New Moon, all of them bearing a striking resemblance to a Sailor uh, Pro Gear Slim, I believe it is. But I want to look at this pen on its own merits today. There are plenty of videos and discussions. Uh, Fountain Pen Network comes back up again soon uh, about the resemblance. But we're going to look at this pen on its own merits and see if it's a good writer. One thing about it, this has a bent nib, kind of a mini food a nib, and so it brings something a little bit more interesting than just another fine to the table. So let's uh, flip the camera, look at this pen, and we'll see what we like, don't like, and how this pen writes. All right, let's take a look at this Delight New Moon 2. Again, this is a 2, so this pen has actually been out quite a while, and you can get it on eBay, Amazon, wherever uh, you find Delight pens, Etsy, that sort of thing. And they're pretty much readily available in fine, I believe fine, extra fine, and the bent nib. I'll put a link in details in the description. But this is a good looking pen. Now, let me just get it out of the way again. It's not a Sailor Pro Gear, Gear Slim, and if that's what you're looking for, go buy that. Save up and, and buy that pen. But as a Delight uh, pen, that's how I want to look at it, I think the, the build quality is typical for Delight, which is really quite good for the money that you spend. So uh, you get a good fair value out of their pens. And it's nicely done. So it has this uh, chrome-like trim, metal pieces uh, here, and of course the band, which has Delight and New Moon around the band. And you'll notice that the resin has uh, depth to it and some glitter in there for a little bit extra sparkle. And I could do without the glitter myself, and I know some people like that, so if that may be for you a plus, a positive, but a pretty, pretty neat pen. You'll find that us preachers don't like glitter that much because it's in the carpet all the, over the place after the kids have run through. <laughs> That's It's kind of a running joke uh, between the uh, custodian here at the, the church and I that uh, glitter must have been created in the bowels of Hades. So there you go. There is there is glitter. But I like the look of this pen overall. It has a good sturdy clip, simple, uh, familiar design, uh, just more acrylic at, as a finial at the top of the cap and at the bottom of the barrel, and a, a good-looking pen. Of course, credit doesn't really go to Delight for the design. <laughs> So there is that, uh, still there. Let's open up that cap and let's see here. It takes one, two, three, four, just right at four turns. And this is something that I've noticed. I've used this pen a lot and I used it a lot in the last uh, several days. Just coincidentally, I had known I was going to do this review uh, today, but I ended up using this pen, I think, more because of the ink color and the nib here lately. And one of the things that I noticed as I was using it quite a bit is those four turns to get the cap off. So that's a, to me, that's a negative. Uh, that's too many in regular use. If you're just going to sit down and do a long writing session, take a lot of notes or uh, write in a journal. I don't know what you do with your pens, but uh, if it's going to be a long time and the cap's just coming off once or twice, it's not a big deal. If you are wanting to uh, use this as an EDC and you're going to be taking that cap off for real quick notes, just understand, it may take you longer to get the cap on and off than to write the note. That's, that's you know, just something you need to know as you look at the pen. So four, to me, is a lot for any pen. I don't think it really serves any improved function. But let's take those four off. You see what I mean? And we have a resin grip section matching the rest of the pen, which I like. It has a nice, good uh, grip to it. It's comfortable. And it's, it's fairly straight. It's really not uh, tapered uh, much, not enough to notice if it is any at all. And very, very simple design. You have, let's go on inside, you have that metal section, and then you have the intersection, and then you have the provided converter, and that's worked well. I think that Delike and Moon Man, they've done some joint projects together. I think they have decent converters. No issues there for me. 
and then we have the nib. And it's just, you know, a, a typical Chinese nib where the decoration is concerned. Now it says extra fine. That's an extra fine, but it's a bent mini fude nib, as you can see there. And I'll tell you more about that bent nib when we get to the writing section. But there you go. Steel nib, plastic feed, and a resin section with metal trim. All in all, uh, the function of the pen is great. The comfort of the pen, I think, is quite good. It's well balanced in the hand. It posts well. Uh, it certainly does with those four turns. It, it also caps quite securely. Certainly no leaks from this pen. No issue there. And just a, a nice uh, pen for the money. And I'll put, again, a link in the, in the description so that you'll know what that pen costs. There you go, a Delight Super Quality nib. Now let's look and see how it writes. All right, we'll see how this writes. And again, that does post securely and is quite well balanced in the hand. I find the weight and balance of this pen to be quite good. So this is the Delight New Moon 2, and this is a bent nib. And this is J. Urban Eclat de Saphir. So that's one of my, my favorite blue inks. And I'm just nearly out of that one. Used up the whole bottle. A lot of it right here on this channel in reviews, especially early on. Okay, so I think really the interesting part of this pen for most people is going to be that bent nib or the resin. I think those are the two things that make this, t this pen uh, a bit unique. And as you know, with these bent nibs, and this is not a, this is a mini, mini Fude, and uh, so not, uh, the largest amount of variation, but it does give some and gives you different abilities. If you're not familiar, it's it's a bent nib angled up and how you angle the pen changes how it writes. So if you hold it straight up, you get a very thin line about like that. If you go way down, you get a good bit wider and more variation. And then if you hold it where you would normally write, then you get that. So uh, those are your kind of three different ways that you write with the pen and what you would get out of them. Let me just do, I don't usually do reverse writing, but sometimes with these pens, people like to know if it does. And this one does write in reverse writing. It's very, very fine and dry. And uh, I think you can't write too long with that before it starts to dry out. But it is possible. You can, if you need to do that, you can do that. I, I, like I said, I find it to be quite a comfortable pen. I'm going to be quiet. This is on Rhodia paper, and you can hear how it writes while I write. So you can get some idea there. Let's see how wet this nib is. I'm not sure I actually remember. Put down plenty of ink there. Not too wet. So, you know, I, I think that's pretty good because it's, uh, it's spreading that ink out so you're not really using a whole lot, but it's still wet enough that it's, as you can see, quite well saturated. And uh, I've been just very pleased uh, with this. It's smooth writing. I find it to be reliable and reliably wet enough, not overly wet, and as you can see, it's not doing anything to the back of that paper, because um, I do have some pens that write so wet even through Rhodia paper, they go right through. This is not one of those. Smooth, reliable, well-balanced, I just think it's a great pen, and if you like a bent nib. That one I have had great experience with and I think it's really quite 
good. So I would recommend it. I think the value is there, particularly in the two, because you get a resin pen. I think the value is there. Uh, the newer model is metal, I believe, with lacquer, and it has chromed finials at the top and the bottom, so it looks a little bit different. If you like that look in solid colors only from everything I've seen, then you might like the New Moon 3 instead. I, I'm kind of partial to the New Moon 2. I like the resin, and that for me is a big deal. As you can see, I kind of like resin pens. This is the Pen BBS 469. Uh, give you some size comparisons, and that pen I'll be reviewing soon. like that one a lot, a lot more than I thought I would. This is the Cross Bailey Light, which Again, whatever viewer sent that to me, I really appreciate that. That was very nice. And then this is the Waterman. Uh, boy, I just completely lost the name. But that's a Waterman. Look at that. Uh, the Graduate. The Waterman Graduate. An awesome pen itself. And then for a smaller size, let me just put this closer so it give you some idea. I know a lot of you have a Pilot Prera, and that's the Pilot Prera by comparison. So uh, that gives you some idea. Again, I... Very enjoyable pen, especially I would get it with that bent nib. That would be my recommendation. Uh, if you get it with the fine, the extra fine, that may be your preference. Uh, it's going to be like another Chinese fine or extra fine, another Delike or Moon Man fine or extra fine. But that bent nib, that's kind of cool, and I like it, and it's an enjoyable writing experience. And it gives you some variation to your writing uh, as you learn how to use that mini food aid. There you are. God bless you. Have a great week. Stay well. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you soon.